time here and I'm just down at my house right now and I wanted to take a minute. This is a, just a quick review of a couple of the mini tripods that I found. What I've been doing is I've been building this this run and gun kind of cine setup with a Sony 6500 and, and a small rig and, and a microphone and lights attached and kind of this big gnarly but super small rig. Maybe we'll talk about the building of this rig later but I wanted something really efficient for kind of on the go, running run, gun vlogging, educational stuff, planes flying over, I'm gonna wait. In doing this, I was watching, you know, what are the vloggers using, and I was looking at the gorilla pod and things like that, and, and I may still play with that, but I thought, man, I'm so used to having a tripod, right? I'm a traditional photographer, uh, filmmaker kind of guy, right? And so I have these big enduro tripods and heads and stuff, but I wanted something small for this small rig that was portable, and I thought, well, what about a small tripod that can also be used as kind of like a selfie stick if I need a mini tripod. And so what I ended up with, the first I, I ordered the, the Yomali 3-in-1. So this is a 60 inch is what it goes to. And let me just kind of get it up here. It kind of all folds up nice and small. I mean, this thing folds down to, we'll have to check the spec, I'll link these, but this is like 12 inches or something like that, that, that this folds down to. So it's very small and then it, it pops open it extends out to a full 60 inches and it's not i mean these are pretty thin legs you know don't think of this as like let's put a big hurricane lens on here and do long exposure landscapes that's not what this is for it's it's light duty but at the same time it, it feels it feels sturdy it's not a bad unit at all and so this here it'll pop right out and this has a section and so this can now work as a pretty nice, like a like a selfie kind of stick, short selfie stick, which is perfect for doing vlogging or something like that. Now the bab of this one. This was about $79, I think. It wasn't that cheap for a little tripod like this. It has a little ball head, and I'll show you the ball head here. This is not a standard Arca Swiss plate. All my cameras and heads I use Arca Swiss style plates on, so everything's interchangeable, right? I can just pop them from one to the other. And, and it looked like an Arca Swiss style, but when I got it, I realized this is not an Arca Swiss. It's the same style, but it's smaller, which was dumb. They could have made it just slightly bigger and it would have been perfect. The other thing is, near as I can tell, this head does not remove. I don't want to try and break it. It might come off there if we worked it enough. I don't think so. I tried getting it off and it wasn't really coming off. Okay, so that was the Yomeli. So then I went back and I started searching around. And I also found this guy. This is the Rangers 57 inch. This is quite a bit meatier. And you can see rather than just the leg twist locks, it actually has like the twist lock slides, more like a regular tripod would have. You can see those there. And everything else works pretty much the same, except this has a really phenomenal head on it. And this thing is actually about 10 bucks cheaper and it has this ball head that is 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 a nice sturdy ball head. I would compare it to maybe like the Joby ball head or something like that, right? It's a good ball head. And here's the beauty, it uses a standard Arca Swiss style plate. My my plates fit in it. I can pop this off and I could stick it to my platy pod or to anything else, right? I could move this around. So I might have like a platy pod in my mobile bag. And if I want to get flat to the ground, I could just pop this head off, screw it to the platy pod, and I'm off and running. And when I'm done, I'll just stick it back on the Rangers here. I'm just pulling off the little uh, springy thing on the bottom, which you could leave off, but it does keep it from accidentally popping out. This comes out, and it can be made selfie style, just like the other one. Something else I really like about the Ranger for a small tripod is I like things that are well designed and kind of versatile. And so the leg actually screw off on this, okay? And they're using just the standard 3 8 that the head uses on the headstock. And so I can actually take a leg off. I can pop this really nice sturdy little ball head off. And then I can screw the leg right into the bottom of that ball head. You know, 40 inch selfie stick right here that I can that I can work with and and it's all in this same tripod so it's all folding up into the same kit this thing's cool it folds up to a little bit longer you can see that the legs on this are a little sturdier and they actually have instead of the twist locks the clip 57 inches I think this one is rated for and this one's 60 fold down nice and small 
so they can go in a bag or a suitcase or something like that. And they actually, the legs will actually fold up and over and you can bring the legs up and around on both of these. And make it very, very small. The Yomali actually is a little bit thinner and lighter duty. And so of course it's going to be a little bit smaller, but not a lot. If you don't have Arca Swiss plates, if you don't care about having uh, a standard, anything like that, there's nothing wrong with this. But it's actually a little more expensive for, in my view, what is less of a piece of equipment. Let me just show them side by side here, kind of fold it up. And you can see that height-wise, they're very close. The Rangers is just a little bit more, more meaty. It's a little bit more heft. Weight-wise, they're pretty close. We can look in the specs for the weight. Yomali's a little bit smaller. They're both going to easily fold out pretty much anywhere. And that's the thing for me, I'm bashing my face. For me, I'm, I'm definitely going to be keeping the Rangers. The Rangers to me is, I took it out of the box. I'm like, the build quality is amazing. They're both decent units, but the Rangers was actually cheaper when I bought it at around $60. It looks good. It has this great little ball head on it that I can move to other, move to other stuff because it's easily removable. Phenomenal value. I just have uh, a gorilla pod or something. Now I'm limited to something short. I have to have something to wrap it around. But with these, I have that 60 inches of height, so I can use it as a tabletop. I can use it as a stick. I can use it uh, sitting on a bench in the park and use it like a tripod. So I just wanted to take a couple minutes before I put all this stuff away to show you guys this stuff because I've been spending a lot of time researching to really get my run and gun rig dialed in. I think you're gonna enjoy either one of these tripods, but if you like the Arca Swiss and a little more sturdiness, a little more value, I would say, in the Rangers. All right, you guys, take care, have fun. Let me know in the comments, subscribe down here. We got lots of more stuff, good stuff coming. Let me know in the comments though, what you're using when you're on the go. There's a lot of cool attachment points. There's a lot of ways to do this. You know, I've got my, my ram mount arms that will attach to the small rig on my camera really nicely. That's really versatile. We can use like the Gorilla Pods. Uh, tripods are kind of seen as kind of traditional and heavy and bulky, but this is a small, nice little tripod that I think is really versatile. So I'm gonna try working with this, see how it goes. You guys let me know what you like.